Okay, so question number five says to rank the following carbocations in order of decreasing stability. So a carbocation, or you can pronounce it like carbocation. Everyone says it differently. But pretty much this is a positively charged carbon. And we can have different types of carbocations, and they all range in stability. So for example, we can have a carbon that is bonded with three hydrogens, and it has a positive charge. And this is the same as like our methyl group. So I'll just call it methyl. And it's also the least stable out of all of the carbocations. Next, you can have a primary carbocation that is bonded with just another carbon group. And it can hold a positive charge. And it is a little more stable than the methyl, but still not as stable compared to a secondary carbocation, which, as you can guess, is bonded with two other carbon groups. And more stable than that is a tertiary carbocation. So it's more stabilized since it is bonded with the other carbon groups. But finally, the most stable carbocation you can have is something called resonance carbocation. So this is when there's a double bond that is beside our positively charged carbon. So I'll just call this resonance stabilized. And this is the most stable carbocation that we could have because the double bond will help delocalize the electrons and help neutralize that positive charge and make it a little more stable. So now let's look at our options that are given in the question. So we have the first option, which is uh, an example of the primary carbocation. The second option is an example of a secondary and the last option is an example of something that is resonance stabilized. So if we were to rank these, uh, in order of decreasing stability, our resonance stabilized carbocation is first. So this is more stable than the secondary carbocation so this one just has a single bond but it is secondary and then the least stable is the primary carbocation which is ch2 and has a positive charge Okay, so this is our order. Okay, so the junior tutor said that the stability of carbocations is determined by two major factors. The number of alkyl groups, or R groups, and resonance. And the number of alkyl groups attached to the carbon atom greatly affects the stability of a carbocation because the alkyl groups are able to share or donate electron density to the MTP orbital of the carbocation 
via a delocalization effect called hyperconjugation. Therefore, the, no the greater number of R groups a, car a carbocation has, the greater hyperconjugation there is, and hence the more stable the carbocation. Okay, so they ranked all the different carbocations you could have from methyl to tertiary. And then they said that a resonance stabilized carbocation, on the other hand, is more stable than a tertiary carbocation because electron delocalization is more observed in the cases of conjugated molecules. Therefore, in the case of the given carbocations in the problem, the arrangement of the carbocation in order of decreasing stability will be as follows. Okay. And this is because the first molecule is resonance stabilized, so it is the most stable. The second and third carbocation, on the other hand, are only secondary and primary carbocations, only hence the resulting arrangement was observed. Okay, so this solution is correct. Thank you.